Our concern for now is what Amy might do during any further episodes. You're going to have to keep a close eye on her. She's not dangerous, not Amy. What are you going to do? I'm going to arrange some tests and maybe a scan to tell us if the issue is psychiatric or, or physical. How can it be physical? Well, the symptoms could be caused by something affecting the brain itself. Like what? The most common would be a blood clot or temporal lobe epilepsy or a tumour. Good morning, Stembridge Insurance. Joe Klein? Certainly, sir. Can I ask who's calling? Please hold on a second, Mr Simpson. Just putting you through now. Uh, it's not a problem. <laughs> so how do you fancy having a week go by yourself? I think I'm ready. Super. Now, we won't do a live call just yet, OK? So let's do a dry run first, yeah, shall Yeah, best be on the safe side. Exactly. Exactly. Bling, 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 bling. Hello, Stembridge and Shaw. <clears throat> It's good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. OK? Not Hello. Sorry. It's not a problem. Go again. Um, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Exactly. OK. <clears throat> bling, 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 bling. Good morning, good afternoon. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry. Should we go from the top? Have you got something to tell me? Thanks so much for the advice. I haven't said a word to Mum about the father, but I'm tempted. <gasps> At least she's not going to send me away for a secret birth and pretend the baby's hers. <laughs> Can you imagine the neighbours' faces? <laughs> I can't visit anyone right now due to morning sickness. <laughs> Mum, if only I'd known years ago how much you needed and wanted my love and wanted my love everything would have been quite different then everything would have been different there was a piece about my profession or i wasn't writing about the care my own father gets have you not had any concerns i never stopped worrying about dad it's first thing in the morning, it's last thing at night. Stacey, I'm so sorry. You know, life can seem pointlessly cruel, can't it? When the Douglas closes, he'll, he'll come to mine. Would you be prepared to stand up in front of the court and tell everyone what a good, loyal friend Mac has been to your father? Not in a million years. That's Dad and Mum on their wedding day. When I was 19, Mac ran off with her. You ruined Dad's life. I won't be your character witness, Mr. Gist. The Douglas is a well-run place, and, and Max Dean is a nasty old man. Dinner? Well, just how long have we got to wait? I'm, I'm sorry, but there was a mix-up in the lab. Seven o'clock last night, she was admitted. Just what's going on? Just leave it, yeah? It's fine. I will not leave it. Mrs. Pullman. I'm after the organ grinder, dear, not the monkey! <laughs> I can't believe even you would have such temerity. I mean, what were you thinking? They were going to change the marks, Mummy. But Penny stole my mark. Oh, preposterous. She did. Just check the papers. <laughs> <laughs> we burn the papers. How else do you think we heat this school? Now, I'm going to write a letter to both of your parents and you'll go before the entire school to make a full confession and apology. To Penny. Is that clear? <laughs> and suggested I made use of 